Assalamu alaikum dear student hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEBS Sangh School I am Bilal Hussain assistant teacher of mathematics of National Ideal English Vashuni School Deship dear student look today our topic is SQ from enjoying mental math books okay SQ from enjoying mental mathematics book lecture now 25 okay student let's start the class look student there are 25 questions there are 25 questions and all the questions are taken from your book enjoying mental mathematics books okay student uh, and this is selected in the uh, listen student in the syllabus there is written the short question will be taken from the enjoying mental mathematics book and selected by teacher okay so i have select there are 25 sq question or short questions okay okay student now i will uh, taught you one by one the question with solution look at our question number one write all the composite numbers between 1 and 10 that means you have to write all the composite numbers between 1 and 10 you know student what are the composite numbers you know the number who is as more than two factors more than two factors that means suppose 4 you see 4 4 has more than two factors its factor is what one two and four similarly six six has more than two factors that means one three six then eight eight one two four then eight then nine you see one three nine that means four six eight nine has more than two factors so therefore we can say between 1 and 10 the composite numbers are 4 6 8 and 9 now question number 2 each prime number has exactly two factors student you know it the prime number has exactly only two factors one and itself suppose 3 3 is a prime number, it has exactly two factors, 1 and 3. Similarly, 2. 2 has only two factors, 1 and 2. Therefore, we can say each prime number has exactly two factors. Now, question number 3. Dash is the largest two-digit prime number. Dash is the largest two-digit prime number. Okay, student dash is the larger two digit, two digit prime number look we know the two digit largest number is 99 99 is the two digit largest number two digit largest number is what 99 99 but see 99 is a composite number but our question is what right what is the largest two digit but also prime number so you see 97 97 97 is the largest and two digit prime number so 97 is the required answer now question number four the smallest three digit number who is divisible by five we know the smallest uh, three digit number is 100 we know in a number if one's place is 0 or 5 then that number is divisible by 5 therefore the smallest three digit number which is divisible by 5 is 100 okay so our answer will be 100 now question number 5 write all the factors of 18 write all the factors of 18 student you know so the 18 1 into 9 equal to 
वन इंटू एटीन इक्वल टू व्हाट एटीन टू इंटू नाइन दिस इक्वल टू व्हाट एटीन थ्री इंटू सिक्स इक्वल टू व्हाट एटीन ओके नाउ से व्हाट आर द फैक्टर ऑफ एटीन यू सी वन टू थ्री सिक्स नाइन एटीन दिस आर द प्राइम फैक्टर ऑफ एटीन ओके यू सी वन टू थ्री Six, nine, and eighteen. Therefore, we can say the prime factor of eighteen are one, two, three, six, nine, and eighteen. Now, question number six. How many seconds are there in twelve minutes? How many seconds are there in twelve minutes? We know one minute equal to how many seconds? One minute equal to how many seconds? Sixty seconds. Okay, we know. One minute equal to one minute equal to sixty seconds. Therefore, twelve minutes equal to what? Twelve minutes equal to sixty into twelve. This equal to what? Seven hundred twenty seconds. Short form is SEC sec or seconds. So our answer will be. How many seconds are there in twelve minutes? Answer will be seven hundred twenty seconds. Now question number seven. One gross, one gross equal to dash dozens. We know one gross equal to one hundred forty four things. One hundred forty four things. Okay, student. We know one gross equal to what? One hundred forty four things. But our question is what one gross equal to dash dozens. Now you have to convert this into dozens. Okay, so we know twelve things make one dozen. So you have to divide one hundred forty four by twelve. And what twelve ones are twelve. Then twenty four twelve to the twenty four. So our result will be what our result will be twelve. Therefore we can write. One gross equal to dash dozens. That means answer will be one gross equal to twelve dozens. Now eight non questions. Nine weeks and four days equal to dash days. We know one week equal to seven days. We know it. One week equal to how many days? Seven days. Therefore nine weeks equal to what? Seven into nine. That means sixty-three days. Okay. Then plus four days, and adding with four, then you get what? Sixty-seven days. Okay, children. That means nine weeks and four days equal to how many days? Answer will be sixty-seven days. Answer will be sixty-seven days. Question number nine. Half kg, one by two. That means half kg equal to dash gram. We know one kg equal to how many gram? One thousand gram. Therefore, half kg equal to five hundred gram. So our answer will be five hundred gram. Now question number ten. See question number ten. Seven hundred twenty division forty. This equal to what? Student. Seven hundred twenty division forty. We have to divide now. This zero vanish. Then you have to divide seventy two by four. Like this way. Four ones are four. Subtract then th thirty two. Four eights are thirty two. So our answer will be what? Answer will be eighteen. Okay. Now look. Seven hundred twenty division forty equal to what? Our answer will be. 18. That means 18 is the quotient. Okay. Now question number 11. 30 into 10 into dash equal to 300. Look, 30 into 10. This is equal to what? 300. Look, 0 into 0 equal to 0. 3 into 1. That means 3. How many zeros? 1 zero and 1 zero. 2 zero. So our answer will be only one. That means 30 into 10 equal to what? 300. So you have to multiply with only one. So our answer will be what? Only one. 
Now question number 12. 78 into 0 plus 46 into 1 equal to dash. We know if you multiply any number by 0, then you get what? 0. Okay? Now plus 46 into 1. 46 into 1 equal to 46. 46 plus 0 equal to what? 46. So our answer will be only 46. Now question number 13. The place value of 4 in dash is what? Look, you know, 5 means once, tens, hundred, thousand, ujud, lakh. That means the place value of 4 is what? 4 lakhs. You see, 5 means once, 8 means tens, once, tens, hundred, 7 means hundred, then thousands, 1 means ujud, then 4 means lakh. Therefore, the place value of 4 in this number is 4 lakhs. Now, question number 14. The product of 345 and 100 is what? Student, this is so easy multiplication. 345 into 100. This is equal to what? 345 into 1. That means 345. 20 put 20. That means the product of 345 into 100 is what? 34,500. 34,500. 34,500. Now, question number 15. Look, if 16 is half of a number, 16 is half of a number. This is a little bit IQ. 16 is half of a number. Then, what is the number? 16 is half of any number that means what number will be only 32 and half of 32 equal to what 16 so our answer will be what only 32 now question number 16 write all the prime numbers between 1 and 10 we know what are the prime numbers the number which has exactly two factors they are the prime numbers look between 1 and 10 look 2 3, 5, 7. Only these four numbers are prime numbers between 1 and 10. But 4 is not a prime number. 4 is the composite number. I told you, I, I, I have taught you this in question number 1. So, a 9. 9 is also a composite number. So, we, can, we can't select 9 as a prime number. Okay. So, our record prime number between 1 and 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. Now question number 17. 9850 is dash less than 10,000. Okay, 10,000. You subtract 9850 from 10,000, then you get what? 150. This is the answer. Now 18 number questions. 9 meter 35 centimeter is equal to what? You know 1 meter equal to what? 100 centimeter therefore 9 meter equal to what 900 centimeter 900 plus 35 centimeter equal to what 935 centimeter so our answer is for 18 number answer is 935 centimeter finish now question number 19 is 7 uh, 7420 is divisible by 2 you see uh, in the ones place number is 0 so this number is divisible by 2. I told in the previous class that if any number the ones place has 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then that number is must be divisible by 2. Okay. So, 7420 is divisible by 2. Okay. Answer is yes. Now, question number 20. How many line segments are there in a triangle? You see, how many triangles you see? This is 1, 2 and 3. That means there are 3 line segments of this triangle. Now question number 21. Express 4 kilometers in meters, dash meters. We know 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter. Therefore, 4 kilometer equal to what? 4 kilometer equal to 4000 meters. Okay, you write here only uh, 4000. Uh, no need to write here meters. Have you? As you wish, you can write the meters, but there is blanks meters. So you have write only the answer 4000. Question number 22. 78 division 5 equal to dash 
remainder dash that means you have to determine the quotient then remainder okay student c equals to 22 you have to divide 78 by 5 5 ones are 5 28 5 fives are 25 subtract then 3 that means 15 is the quotient and 3 is the remainder okay student so c equals to 22 78 division 5 equal to dash remainder is dash that means quotient is 25 and remainder is 3 you see remainder is 3 and quotient is 15 quotient is what 15 now question number 23 write the next three even numbers of 112 write the next three even numbers of 112 next three even numbers that means the next three even numbers are 114 then 116 then 118 so our answer will, will be what answer 114 116 then 118 finish then question number 24 <coughs> eight groups of dash is 10 80 8 groups of dash is 80. Okay, 8 groups of dash. That means 8 groups of 10. 8 groups of 10 is 80. Okay. So our answer will be answer only 10. You know, 8 tens are also 80. So our answer will be only 10. Now question number 25. Half of taka 64 equal to 16 into dash. This is a little bit difficult. I will explain now. Half of taka 64. You look half of 64 is equal to what? Divide then you get what? 32. Okay. So our answer will be what? 32. Now see question. I mean, half of taka 64 equal to what? 32. We have got what? 30. 2. Now question look. 16 into dash. 16 into dash. That means you have to put a number here so that our result will be or product will be 32. Okay. So if you multiply 16 into 2 then you get 32. So our result will be what? Only 2. So answer is 2. Okay student. I hope you understood today's topic. You keep practicing at home. Stay safe. Stay well. See you again.